They need to give me the most popular open world games right now. GTA 5. Not on the list. Elden Ring. No. It's not on huh? the strike me. Last week, um, the Crunchyroll was in the controversy because they removed the comment section from all parts of the website. But every time, like, I'd stumble across the, uh, the comment section on any of those videos, they're not, they're not talking important. about nothing. <laughs> Some people are like, mm -hmm. oh, this That's is when the anime it. finally got good. And it's like season three, episode 12. I'm like, like, shut the f I don't care what you're doing. I'm never calling that shit X. <laughs> I'm never calling. You know what X is? It's short X for XXX. Anyway, so. <laughs> exactly. I was, uh, <laughs> was going to say, I always thought it was short for ecstasy. <laughs> 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 Artificial intelligence. It started to make its way over to anime. Now they're starting, Crunchyroll is starting to use AI to translate Japanese subtitles for the US viewers. You know, iconic wise, yes, Pokeball is the most iconic when you see it, but if we're talking like iconic in the sense of if you have to put them on a list and which one is being more worn than anything or advertised, it's nine times out of ten is going to be the Koski Cloud. But I literally wanted an anime wave cap, and this was the first one that popped up. If they had one with Pokeballs going around, I would have gotten that. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Mackie. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hope you're living well hope you're doing right i'm here with my good brothers finally finally we back with another pod episode for y'all mother damn y'all lucky this is the beginning i can't even curse like that but anyway what's going on i hope you're doing well hope you're living right hope you're eating well and sleeping good i'm here with my good brothers we got the razor sharp assassin with the clipper and johnny b we also got the Black Kage, the Hook Kage, a.k.a. Crispin, a.k.a. Salt and Pepper Poppy. <laughs> and in honor of Buju Bantan, Shawnee has come back home. Budman forward, Budman pull up. Budman forward, Budman pull up. Budman forward, Budman pull up. Budman pull up. Budman pull up. Budman Shawnee in the tank top poppy in the mother building damn i curse whatever and it is the nerdy by nature boys welcome to episode 90 felt look at my <laughs> hope you're living well hope you're doing right all right so we got a pod episode for you guys it's been a minute since we did a pod and yeah let's get right into it we're gonna start it off with a list I got a list for these guys. You feel me? They need to give me uh, the top. <laughs> <laughs> they need to give me the most popular open world games right now. Okay. How There's many? Ten of them. There's ten of them. Okay. The most popular open world games right now. Right now. There's an echo. I can hear myself. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but yes, let's. Get it. Let's get it started. Let's get it twisted. You guys can ask questions. Of course, you get three strikes. Let us begin. Uh, fellas, fellas, uh, John and uh, Sean. I'm going to go with the safe route, which is What's GTA. That? Yeah, GTA that's a that's a safe. I wasn't that's even safe. thinking of that. What? what which one? Yeah. GTA 5. She Not on the list. Oh, huh? sorry. Yes, it is. Sorry. Yes, it is. I'm about to say, wow. It's number two, oh, about it's number two on the list. And he tried number not to two. give it to him. You see that? No, because there's another there's another uh, game like that on the list. Too. Um, I just so gave you the second one. Yeah, I was going to say it's got to be Red Dead Redemption. Rojo Muerte Redemption. Which one? Oh, Shawnee. Which one? Uh, we'll give you the options again. The, the, Red yeah. Dead 1 or 2. <laughs> uh, I would just put Red Dead. Red Dead should just be up there in general. I doubt it. That's be what I said, but he wants me to be specific. So uh, I'm asking you, which one? Those. It'd it be two. Two. That's number one. There we go. Red Dead Two. GTA Five. Red Dead Two. Elden Ring. 
Yes, yeah, so I was gonna say, gotta that. be up there. No, it's not on huh? the strike. Man. What? That's because yeah, that's a strike. strike. Okay. Zelda. You see, Shawnee, this is why I don't like these. Most lists. most popular in the world. In the world. world. I'm in the world. Open world. Just most popular. The DLC last week or two weeks. Bro, it's not it more be. popular than most of these games on here, bro. I promise you. Zelda. All right. Zelda. So then, uh, Leg- Legend of Zelda, um, the new of the Zelda, uh, Breath of the Tears of the Kingdom has to be there. No. I'll give you Legend of Zelda though, but that's the wrong one. It's Breath of the Wild. I'll give it to you. You can't then you can't hit the technicalities. It should just be the, the topic, this thing. No, so that's the game that's on the list. My boy, it's a different game. It's not the same game. I said I'll give it to you though. Yeah, because right. so we got crazy. so we got that's Red Dead, nine. we got GTA, we got um Breath, Breath of the Wild. Wild. This popular today. Popular today. Me. My uh Baldur's Gate. What's that? What's Yes, Baldur definitely has a big Baldur's one, Gate but I don't know if it's open world. Is Baldur's Gate open world? It, it, it's kind of, sort of. I, I don't know. It's just, it's just Assassin. It's well, it's not on this list. Assassin's Creed. Or Assassin's Creed. Okay, I'll give you Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. I think Valhalla. that's four. Black Flag. Oh, so b- b- Black Flag came out how long ago? Yeah, bro. There's these no are. In the world. Thank you. If someone's listening. All right, um, I'll give you the ones that you got so far. One, Red Dead Redemption 2. GTA 2, five. GTA 5. 6, Red Dead Redemption 1. Uh, 9, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. And 10, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. And this is this is this this list was compiled by... Ranker. We'll, we'll group. Of course. Yeah. Ranker. Oh, that makes sense. All right. So then I'm going to take if, if Baldur's Gate 3 is up there, then Diablo 4 should be up there. It's not up here, my boy. What's that? That's two? <laughs> That's two? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Unlimited because you guys should get these. All of these you no. guys should get. But it's not. Uh, oh, don't worry about the this going. Uh, One of them no, had, was a popular no, 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 no. game in 2018. What's that? What's that? Uh, when the what's sequel that? just what's came that? out. What's that PlayStation game that everybody like? Star Wars. Um, but no, that's no, not no, even that, world, huh? no. That, that, that has that's the, the, the blonde dude with swords. What's it called? God of War. But that's not open world like that. Not God of War. It's not God open world. world. I'm talking about blonde. It's the blonde with black dressing black, big ass sword. Damn. Are you talking about Final oh, Fantasy? Talking about Final Fantasy Final Seven? Yeah. That's Final not Fantasy an open world. It's not open world. It's not, it's not open world. world. No, no, it's not. not. The, this was a popular game in 2018, and a sequel recently came out. Me, me and Shawnee both just played this game, and I just beat it. Oh, what Spider Man? Spider Man. Thank you. Spider Man is number well, Spider-Man's seven. Spider Man's considered. Yeah, Spider Man would be. A it's an open world, open world, bro. Yeah. It's open world. I mean, you just in the city, but another yeah. game. Another game on this list. Kids love to play this game. Fortnite Minecraft. is not open world. Thank you, John. Minecraft. 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 That's number five. All right, another game. There's a Netflix Netflix show of this game. A Netflix show. What? Yeah, Cyber so Henry Monica Cavill. Henry Cavill's in it. The Witcher. The Witcher. The Witcher. The Witcher, the yeah, Witcher Three are. Wild Hunt is on here. All right. So, so you have. So you would get um, Elder Scrolls. Yes, Elder Scrolls. Skyrim. Skyrim is on here. Skyrim. Should and be there's there. one more game on here. Fallout. No. Where is this game played? You, this is a, another game like this was on here. Is it played Horizon Forbidden Xbox? West? Another Nintendo. game like this game, another version of this game was on here already. GTA I'm not, uh, San Andreas. <laughs> thank you. GTA San Andreas. <laughs> How can you? Ha- hey, it's not my list. It is Ranker. Thank you for joining Mackie's list. Now we can get on with the show. Boo all right. to all how of Ranker's have... list. Boo to all how of you people that use that website. You suck. On the top ten. What the? Bro, fuck? listen. This was the top ten. All right. This is the top they ten. Had, they had two. Under, Red, 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 Red Dead Redemption two, Damn two man. Grand Theft Auto five, three Elder Scrolls five, Skyrim, four The Witcher three, Wild Hunt five, Minecraft six, Red Dead Redemption two, 2010. Seven Spider Man 2018, eight Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, nine The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and ten 
Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So thank you very much for joining my list. We can get on with the show now. Johnny, tell us what we won. It's like you you get a manga. You get a manga. You get a milk clipper. Let me stop. Milk? What? You can get a cup. Um no, so last week um the Crunchyroll was in the controversy because they removed the comment section from all parts of the website, which I don't know why to me it just sounds so foreign because I don't watch Crunchyroll on my PC. I strictly watch it on like my Apple TV or watch it on my phone. Um, and apparently people still were commenting on it and they were complaining the comment section got removed and it was for almost all the I think it's for all the anime including the legacy content um, some people were making points just like oh like I, what if I wanted to discuss the anime the episode that I'm watching right now and I and for me I feel like when you have Twitter you have Reddit you have discords and you have Patreons you have all these content creators who do reactions YouTube the YouTube comment section is still there you know so i didn't i don't personally see the big deal because there's all these other outlets that you could utilize to talk about it you know like i figure everybody knows how, how much of a dumpster fire reddit can be when a new episode drops and twitter we're so connected now i feel like the comment section on crunchyroll is kind of archaic like youtube makes sense because that is youtube's whole thing but crunchyroll is it, you know i don't even know if, i don't watch netflix on the pc i don't know if netflix has a comment section so I don't think they do. I don't believe so. I I know that the you could see the comment section for Crunchyroll on mobile also, because I see it on my phone. Uh, I I see it on my my phone's app all the time. Sometimes Mm. I have to like click out of it, but like it it's 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 Mm. definitely like viewable. But every time like I stumble across the uh, the comment section on any of those videos, they're not they're not talking about nothing. (laughs) Some people are like, mm-hmm. oh, this That's is when the anime it. finally got good. And it's like season three, episode 12. I'm like, like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thanks. I'm already in this deep, my boy. Like, it's, like, it's too late. No, I've did been, it. I've been, I've been known this was good. <laughs> no. I've, I've been watching for two seasons already. My I like, think people like, just want to make up, make a stink about something, bro. It's not even All that the time, bro. We have, like you just mentioned, we have Reddit. We have Twitter. Those two how, places how are where because it's twitter i don't it's care twitter, what you want. i'm never calling that shit x <laughs> i'm never calling you know what x is it's short for xxx anyway so <laughs> exactly I was, uh, <laughs> listen. I, I was gonna say i always thought it was short for ecstasy but you know what what am i like a 90s teenage movie probably <laughs> hit him with the drop x <laughs> anyway um yeah no i don't i don't get the whole stink about it i don't too i don't really care to be honest i really don't care to be honest and it's not that big of a deal i never even to be honest with you when you said that they took it away i had completely forgot that crunchyroll even had it that was my whole shit i didn't even know it had one i didn't even know it had one i didn't know i totally forgot because that's not something that i really look to you it's not like and again like like john said they're not really talking about nothing in there so it's like nothing important first of all i'm gonna tell y'all when when somebody has a vid like when you put a video up like if somebody has comments on episode five of a show in netflix i want to hear your comments first of all you leave those comments it's not for me to read it's for the whoever made the freaking show to read to be completely honest and they're not going to change their story because you said, oh, this story sucks. I'm like, it sucks to you. Yeah. It don't suck to somebody else. So leaving comments on anime episodes, leaving comments on any episode of any story, bro, like, just stop. If you're not going to review the thing, just shut up. Just don't watch it. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. So take the comments out. because unless, unless, you, unless you're there telling me something about the lore that, you know, it's like a director's cut that I can only get from here. It's not. not I can find it on Twitter anyway. All I'm saying so is, like, when, people, when people comment, when most of the time them. now, when they comment on something, it's something negative. That's probably why they took it off. Because y'all don't have nothing positive Actually, to put in. 
Thank you, thank you for the reminder. So what they so that was a whole other thing they got into. They said they took it down because of the toxicity of the comment section um, on the app. Which I'm honestly, bro, Crunchyroll has been long, been around for how long now? I remember when it first came out, and it was only on PC that you could use it. But like, I feel like once it made its way to like your mobile app and your TV apps and your Fire Sticks, like, bro, I don't see a reason why you would still watch it on pc unless you're like streaming and i get that you know you're streaming the episode cool but like i'm not looking for the comment section bro like anime is not a is not like video games to me like if i'm already here i pay for the service i'm getting these episodes i don't want to see your review to tell me if the episode was good or not i'm still gonna fucking watch it now a video game is different the amount of money we gotta pay for i'm gonna watch it before you buy before i eat i'll buy the game leave it wrapped and i'll watch it before you buy it to see if i'm gonna open this game or not you know so like i in my opinion, I know people are going to hate it. Not us, but, you know, like, the newer generation and shit. Fuck it. I'm glad they took that shit away. Because if the if they're telling you the toxicity is at an all-time high, then, bro, sometimes it's like, it's, it's like, like, what did like, Tyler say, bro? Getting bullied on the internet is silly. Just turn the computer off type shit. You know, that's literally what he said. So taking away the comments kind of gets rid of that. Now, if you want to post your text toxicity, you have to take the extra step and go to Reddit or go to Twitter or go to, to the, your local Discord you or whatever you want to do. You got to do a screenshot. You got to put a freaking episode number. You got you to gotta write the whole thing. So now, if you really want to be toxic, bro. Yeah, you like, really put that energy toxic. into it. Whoa. And they were saying... They were saying... Yeah, that we're that gonna that's the there's people, <laughs> that, there's people that are that petty. Facts. But those and people, they were those people are really and mad about something that happened on that episode. If you took that time, you're really pissed off about something that happened in that episode. Because yes. if you don't, and if you don't, you were really not really mad about it. You just read something on t- on on Twitter and came here to do some bullshit. Like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. like get out of here. Exactly, and they were talking about how like, oh well, it's a bullshit excuse because toxicity has always been there. But I'm like. Bro, at the end of the day, just because something has... That's like saying, like, slavery should stay the same because it's always been there. No, like, if it was toxic back then, it's toxic right now. And now they're making the change. I support it. So, but as Crunchyroll is, did, remove the comments, bro. There's, there's, uh, going off of what Shawnee just said, toxicity always been in the internet. That is true. But at the height that it is right now, like, you literally post something in red, and they're like... Yo, you think you're a blah? Uh, uh, like, bro, shut up, bro, shut up. I just like I red. red, bro. It's blue every day. Red. Like, bro, I, I, just I like, like red. red. I don't give a fuck if you like blue. Like, I don't care, bro. I, that, that has nothing to do with me. I post Naruto up. Oh, what piece is better? Did I say Naruto was better? Like, why are you saying this, bro? Like, like literally, every every time somebody posts something, every single time somebody posts something, they come up from left field. This, this, nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. Let's move on. And then we're also in a society now where, especially on Twitter, you can monetize your tweets. So it's like trolling is at an all time high because the more you troll somebody, the more they come and the more you get paid. Like it's crazy. So you can, so technically speaking, you're not even getting like authentic thoughts. You're just thinking like, oh, what is this trigger warning that I can use? Yes, exactly. I, I've seen that on TikTok so much, and I'm not even going to talk about it because it has nothing to do with anime. It's just like sports, but I got to have a conversation with y'all later about that. But, Shawnee, take us to the next topic because I already got yeah, mad about you know, crying about no fucking comments. <laughs> since we're on the topic of clicks, Mackie, you want to talk about clicks? What about the channel? Oh, yes. How do we get Make more sure clicks you like in a non toxic Listen, way? I know we told y'all to not care about the Crunchyroll comments, but care about ours make sure you like comment subscribe do all that you feel me i actually didn't, i saw really quickly before we move to the next segue to the next thing and this has nothing to do with anything it's just because uh uh relax chris me damn no, they can get, they get, get toxic in our comments yeah yeah, you can get... <laughs> yeah yeah anyway um i had i had, saw a hot take that People, and I know all of us here do like One Piece, but there are people outside that don't like One Piece, yet they watch Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Super, GT, and GT, or the people, the Naruto people who say, oh, I don't like, I can't watch a thousand episodes when Naruto, Shippuden, and Baruto all have like almost a thousand episodes already. So I just wanted to like, 
ask you guys really quickly before we move to the next thing because i thought that was very interesting it's like i totally agree with that the, just say that you don't like one piece it's okay like you don't have to say yeah, oh yeah. i don't want to watch a thousand episodes you watch 700 episodes of naruto and 50 percent of it was filler you watched Sasuke fight with dinosaurs, and you still love Baruto. Like, let, let's let's be for real. Yo, leave no. leave leave my Dino Boy out of that, bro. <laughs> hit hit him with the the Konoha Senpu on the freaking Aerodactyl. That shit was hard. The leave my leave my boy Dino. I forgot his name, but leave my man leave my man's alone. Yeah, what what? And my point still stands. You've watched at least a thousand episodes of Naruto. And you're telling me you can't watch a thousand episodes. You're, the reason why you don't want to watch One Piece is because there's a thousand episodes. Just say you don't like it, and it's okay. We'll, we'll like. A- I feel like the One Piece fandom has kind of, and maybe this is just me talking for me personally, but I feel like we've kind of like you know, if you see that you get it or you don't, and if you don't get it, that sucks for you. You lose out. You'll just see the shit that they're doing on Netflix then. I got something to say. When I like an anime, I want that shit to be as long as possible. Whoa! Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god! Yo, he I wasn't gonna was, say shit. He was very he direct the with the statement <laughs> he made. There was no innuendo. Anime. In there wasn't, but back he made me laugh. <laughs> Swear to God, bro. Yo, Swear you're god, nuts. Bro. You know what, Mackie? You know what? Just so you can get a little bit more of a laugh. No, Every no, part no. of pity that was in that comment. It's valid. Fuck it. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, good. Okay. No, continue your, right, your thing so we can move to the next thing. When when an anime is good, we hate when that shit uh, is short. Like unless unless it like completes it like very perfectly. Like you know when when something is short and it's just straight to the point and it just closed absolutely everything. Yeah. You're like yo that that Full was metal good. alchemist. Full Metal, um, I like Erased. Erased is not a, it's not a shonen, but it's a good anime. It's like straight to the point. Everything, boom, 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 closed. I like stuff like that. But big intricate stories like about ninjas, like Naruto, about pirates, like um, One Piece, about superheroes like My Hero, which I think it was too short. It's about to end soon, but that's a conversation was, for another, was, another I think next it was week. too short. I think it was too short. Attack on Titan, I think they rushed it at the end. Because the ending was a little, I mean, you know, it, there's things like that that it's like, yo, give it a little bit more time, get intricate with it. I'm cool with that. But when it comes to people like complaining, oh, it's too long, uh, bro. Like, look, look at, look at, look at your family, Demon Slayer. Like, look at Demon Slayer, bro. I, I watched Demon Slayer completely. Do I like Demon Slayer? Yeah. Is it in my top ten? Hell, nah. It's not. One, you started it too slow. Then you rushed every Hashira to die. Hashira. You know what I'm saying? Like all that stuff? No. Give me some time with the characters. Let me get, you know what I'm saying? Like, but when it comes to this people fighting about like the length of anime, it's because you just don't want to watch it. And if you don't want to watch it, just don't watch it. That's it. Stop talking yeah. bullshit on the internet. Yeah. So on the topic of anime and sticking to Crunchyroll, another um, fiasco they're dealing with currently is um, the topic of artificial intelligence and its effect on the world as it is now, where everything is instead of Google's like, hey, AI or every, you know, Instagram is, hey, AI this included the top or Twitter AI this. And now I just can't type and look for one person because it wants me to ask who is the blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it started to make its way over to anime. Now they're starting, Crunchyroll is starting to use AI to translate Japanese subtitles for the US users. And just, you know, I wanted to get you guys thoughts on that concept. Some things to think about is, well, on one hand, some users would state that when the translator translates the the subtitles, they can put their own agenda on, on it or, you know, re switch up how they want something to sound to fit their agenda their purpose you know their viewpoints and things of that nature i mean i, mean, I feel, I feel like, like i don't know how you can kind of do that i would argue the closest thing would be like for example how you have the the voice actors and how they're oh like but a bakugo will say you damn rabbit to um 
to Mirko and last episode of uh, My Hero. But now he in the English dub, he's like, oh, you silly bunny wabbit, like a Looney Tunes joke, which I don't know in Japan if they go. Yeah, look it up. Bakugo makes a Looney Tunes joke. And I haven't American seen dub. that episode yet. I think it was two weeks ago. But just do you see how that concept of you're using Looney Tunes in an anime where technically we would know because we grew up watching Looney Tunes in America. But if you were to do that in Japan, I don't know if they would get the reference the same way. Yeah, so in so. So translate that in regards to the AI subtitles now. Now it's generating. Some people argue, hey, like it's actually not that bad. It's straight to it. You know, it's translate properly. It's saying what, you know, the original media was meant to say. But at the same time now, think about it. People might lose their jobs. If you can just go and put that episode through AI generator and it'll do the subtitles for you. Why would you need to hire a translator? You know, and then you get into the whole conversation about AI taking your jobs. Let so, me ask you a quick question. Is it that they are just re having AI do the subtitles or they're having AI do the person like the voice actor's voice? No, but well, that's another topic because it's just the subtitles. But if we start at subtitles, who's to say right that the voice can't be next? Because when you even watch your YouTube videos, AI will literally, if you write the script out, AI will... You pick the voice, what you're looking for, hear it out, and it'll do your whole video. Just today, I watched like two hours worth of Dynasty Warriors videos on YouTube, and I was really struggling to figure out if the YouTuber was speaking like with their normal voice or was it AI. And the only reason I didn't, I knew it was AI was because at the very end, it switched from a very dark and deep guy voice to a girl at the end saying, thank you for watching my channel, blah, 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 blah. So that's another thing. If you do, if you're cool with you know ai handling the translation of the subtitles who's to say that you'd be cool with ai doing the voice acting for those episodes and translating in that way so whoever thoughts they uh, took uh, our jobs uh, okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna look at it i'm gonna look at it this way it's, it's always like horrible to see people lose their job because something of like a technology has been invented and moving forward right but this has been happening, first of all, in America, number one, forever, forever. We could go back to factories and all that stuff. They put machines in there, got people out. You know what I'm saying? Now they get people to fix the machines that were in there, right? So what I would say to people that do translate uh, scripts and uh, contracts or anything like that um, is to get up, get ahead of the time. You know what I'm saying? And like, try to find the way to be like, okay, I could revise whatever the AI did because the AI get messed up all the time. Mm -hmm. Could you got to get it to revising? I'll do four or five scripts or whatever you had, to, you had, I had to do before, but now I'm doing less of the work. I'm just revising what the AI did for you, whatever. I don't know. I, I guess doing that um, just to get ahead of the time and, and acquire a different skill as well. And if you know how to translate, you don't have to work strictly on subtitle. Now you have two languages to work with. You can go, or, or probably three or four languages, because you don't know. Like people that translate, they do know a whole, a whole bunch of languages. Just go to another country <coughs> that needs that needs that language. Like if you know Japanese enough to translate in an anime, you could talk and work at some place that is touristy, like a tourist go to. You can you can honestly do would... teach English classes. What I would Japanese only they have or Japanese guys is here. Like it, it the it. only thing, the only thing I would say against what you what you're saying, Crispin, is that the pay that and again, I, I'm sure like not all of these voice actors are Sean Shemo who's getting like. I'm not know, talking about voice. I'm not talking about voice actors. I'm just talking about subtitles, right? Oh, okay, yeah, true. Sorry, we're not talking um, about voice actors. Not not all of these people. One, they're probably not going to get the same pay that they were getting for voice acting compared to the work that they were doing. I mean, the the subtitles compared to the work that they're doing. So it's like, yeah, they could go and learn and, and be an, a tutor for Japanese or German or French, but the amount of money that they're probably getting from just sitting at their table or sitting at the computer doing a subtitle, it's probably for the, um, sorry, the amount of money for the amount of work that they're doing is is way more than they were to just do like a 
regular because they could go to a hospital and become a translator you could just work at the hospital and the hospital will hire you and you'll go there and speak for someone when they need something like there are people that do that but they don't get paid as much as someone who sits in their house just has to type up you know a, a little script yeah, or whatever in a different before, language because before it was something that was needed now, right now it's not needed so your your pay is going to go down regardless even if you keep doing it because now they're going to be like i could pay less for ai i feel like chris bean's making a, a decent point where yeah, it, it's that times are going to change and the job market's always going to change with the times and we see ai affecting many job Everything. markets so it's no surprise that it would affect the people that work in translation whether that be through text or audio kind of translation but people that translate <clears throat> for different languages there are always going to be situations where translators are needed so it's not like those careers completely disappear off the face of the earth um, but yeah, it is important to understand where your job market is moving and to try to adjust or maybe use those skills in different ways than you have in the past in order to, to stay relevant in the workspace. But um, it, it, it's something where the technology is not really going to be 100% there just yet. It's not going to be... Um, you know like it like it won't be perfect there's like chris Bean said that ai makes mistakes and there are going to have to be people there to make sure that like everything is good to go for like a production kind of thing like if you're going to attach closed captioning to an episode then you know like it needs to be done like and, and somebody needs to make sure that it, it says what it's Correct. supposed to say yeah so you know like there's 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 always going to be time for review and time to do stuff like that and people needed to do those kinds of jobs but i feel like it's it's kind of inevitable you know those are those are things that yeah people needed to pay someone to do those kinds of jobs but what it, if you no longer need to do that like the same as like googling things before you really needed to do research but now yeah, well, nobody here, wants right. to go to the library and look for the information they're looking for in an encyclopedia somewhere. Like you would, I was about you to would say, just I know at least all of us here at, at one point had an encyclopedia in their house. In the yeah, growing up, absolutely. I had a whole collection of encyclopedias. You know, like and and I actually use them to do homework sometimes. Like so, you know. Same. The, so right. yeah, but since we're all old as hell and we remember having to do it the old-fashioned way, mm -hmm. like you know, we know now with tools like Google and and other search engines, like there's so many better ways to acquire the information we're looking for, and that's just a matter of technology and innovation. Yeah, it sucks. Like, people are definitely going to be impacted in their livelihoods, but it's just something that it does all always happen as as technology advances and as society grows you know people need to adjust and adapt. um another thing that i would say is like um it's always good if it's doing a good job like Tony said that they were doing a good job like when you when you talk to like when hispanics talk to each other we say words we say words with a certain tone that means something in puerto rico that doesn't mean in the art and and when you have an AI that understands that, I guess, or understands the way it was said with the context of of what it's saying in the whole conversation and they translate it correctly, some people would not translate that. Just because you know Japanese doesn't mean you know when they say a word and a saying that has that word in it, that that saying means something totally different. Than what the word means you know what i'm saying like i don't know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say no i understand what you're saying you're basically like, saying even in english like there's when you certain say, words that mean different things so it's more, that are, it's more of context behind knowing mm -hmm. the conversation that they're having to understand what the word actually means i i hear what you're saying yeah. so i, I don't that, I, go ahead, go ahead. no no go ahead if that is into play like if if, if the ai is doing a good job at that yeah you, you can't beat that unless you're from Japan that knows English, and it's always something. Uh, it's always a barrier, even if you do know the language really good. There's always a barrier. Like you would have to live in both countries for a period of time to understand most of the sayings and stuff. Like if we go to the south and people from the south start talking to us, we're gonna be like, "What? <laughs> like, what are you saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like even people from New York. Like when people from New York talk to you, you're like, 
okay, bro. Like, whatever you say. I don't understand what and, you and so even with that i was thinking about how there's certain episodes of anime none comes to mind specifically but they might say a certain phrase exactly. and you'll see the subtitle come up saying that this phrase means this because if the if the ai generates it it's gonna say it just as is and that shit might sound completely wild to us but when you have the actual translator there they might say this e- this phrase means this in japan it's meant to do x y and z to to explain the situation so you're an, an understanding of it you know um i don't know if ai will be able to replicate things of that of that nature you know because then it starts to get to the point where it's like you know so you said like you know you're talking to your peoples and it's like you're growing up a culture of how how you were you were raised versus how somebody else was raised ai can't replicate that um really quick i wanted to bring into will's point because there's another you know this is another piece of it it goes he said this even this even goes into the actors being on strike last year because the film companies wanted to use ai for the scripts and the actors for their likeness they didn't want to pay the actors and and ai them in films so they wouldn't have to pay them anymore and we have seen that lately i think scarlett johansson had brought up a case about that how they were trying to use her likeness with the ai voiceover um i think i don't know if it was for a movie for a commercial and that that you know that opens up another big can of worms where or the, the, AI... the flash movie that shit was yep, basically yep. cgi cgi everything and, and i don't know if you guys probably didn't watch secret invasion because i didn't finish it either but that opening that. was generated in ai that you could tell that was a whole um thing when that came out um kaiju number eight the opening song which is um by an american artist by the way and the ending um Kaiju number eight opening to me looks like that shit was made by AI. Maybe the better part of AI, but that opening definitely looked very AI generated to me. So, you know, I understand there is the conversation of people of the people that are in those jobs and in, in those fields having to pay attention to the market, know what's going on and how to react to that. But at a certain point, we also have to ask ourselves like, how much control do we want to give ai over our task you know like john you cut hair what happens if we get that episode of the, the world of tomorrow when somebody can walk into the fucking the little machine and the next thing they, you tell it specifically i want option one to be like you ordering of ordering off a fucking mcdonald's menu and it's like okay and you stand still and it just cuts your hair automatically now granted i personally want to trust no machine to cut my hair with no fucking sharp objects and shit absolutely that's, so- that's the answer you get every time actually so the the reason why barbers or hairstylists don't care about like if somebody tries to do that is because no one would genuinely trust a machine that is not human operated to just give them a haircut without completely <laughs> torturing them <laughs> like nobody nobody would trust it nobody would trust but it. i mean e- e- even in my space that i work in where it's like mostly customer service um ai is a thing that is used because the ivr is something that people use well a lot of companies use some people some companies don't even have like a real staff they just have the ivr to Bro, tell you to go the ivr the or whatever. i, I ate it IVR. too I hate Especially it too. Especially the voice, the voice one where you want to just I want customer service. Oh, you sound like you want to speak to an agent. Can you please tell us which specific, um, t- uh, yeah, <laughs> what part of the com- what part of the company you want to get to? Customer service. Thank you. We understand what you're saying. You tell them that shit five times, and then uh, it's like, UPS. I'm sorry, we can't understand what we're saying. Please call again later. UPS has done that to me so many times. They hung up on my ass. So yeah, no, I get it. I, I'm I'm against the AI. Uh, everything moving to AI, I think, is dangerous. It sounds like the Terminator. I'm not with it, man. You feel me? That's how. What's his name? What's the, what's his name? The Terminator. That's how he came back. I don't because know. Of, Swashing. Swashing. Yeah, yeah. He came back to kill the dude, but he didn't really kill dude. He just became best friends with him. But yeah, man, I'm not I'm not really with none of that. I think I'm I'm all for people having their jobs and people. Um, humans contributing to human things and when we get into like you know machines doing human doing the things that human used to do it's a very dangerous one it'll make it'll make people mad lazy and not want to do anything um and two it's like it's not really authentic you know you can go you can train an ai to speak like you i've done it before 
I've done it. I've used like uh, what Probably was it called? Stop. Not like me, like me, but like I typed in. I said I this wanted right now. <laughs> no! I, I told. Oh, no. That I put it. I put in the AI. I said, "Speak like a a black kid who loves hip hop and is from New Jersey." And it it didn't use like the slang that we use, but it was speaking as if it was. It started like, "Yo." What's good? Da, 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 da. I'm just like that. Just sounds that's... racist. <laughs> fair, enough. It, fair enough, but my point is, is that AI is getting to that place where it's gonna eventually, you know, be able to mimic someone from New Jersey in their mid 30s who loved anime and hip hop, and they'll be. You know, they've already have a if, if you go on the internet, they already have AI basically making a big streamer Kaisenat, making him sing like he's Tony Braxton and shit like that. So it's hey, like sing hello fucking song. Yeah, bro, and it, it sounds good. Like it sounds like it's professionally done. So, you know. I'm I'm not with none of this AI AI stuff, man. I think they need to just chill out, man, and just allow humans to be humans. Keep paying people. Stop taking the cheap way out. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna tell you that when this really gets out of control, because it's still not out of control, they still have oh. it under control. Once it gets out of control, there is going to be laws about this yeah. that are going yeah. to be. We're really, starting to really, see it now really, with really Taylor heavy. Swift, right? I don't know if any. I know. Crispin, you're not really on Twitter, but there was a provocative picture of Taylor Swift that came out on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, they should. She shut that shit down quick, bro. They, like it was. Megan Thee Stallion got hit with the same thing, and they didn't. They didn't do shit about that. Well, you know what it is. Man. It's probably the picture. Yes, I know. Picture. Yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> the actual picture probably um, leaked. <laughs> but yeah, so, to, to summarize it, I think yeah. again, um, one thing that AI is. Is an, is an amazing thing but i think ai is like pizza you should use it you should eat it in moderation right so you should utilize ai in moderation there's no reason why that the crunch crunchy roll just can't have the you know the workers the translators use ai to translate majority of it and then like you said do the checks at the end and make sure that this okay this isn't correct let me just work on this and fix this you know like there's no reason why they can't work in conjunction you would still get your more accurate you would get your accurate subtitles the job can be done fast which means we get out more product and i and imagine the quality would be better but i do think that we should exercise caution with allowing ai to do a hundred percent of the work even now like i think i think we asked a few episodes ago like how do college students you know we're, we're far removed at this point how do college students do their papers and not just have ai write it for them i know they have to the teacher has there has to be some module in place for them to do the check the run the checks on it um there's an app uh, talking about plagiarism there's an app that you put on your computer that you copy the whole thing, put it on the thing, and writes a summary of it, and then you tell them they cannot uh, plagiarism, and they'll write the whole shit again. And it's not a like you just have to read it and fix it, bro. I I used to get D because you know my spelling game ain't up there. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And then these kids just put yo know, copy paste, give me a summary, pop up. Give me a fucking essay, boom, and I'm done. Like what? Like I used to go to sleep hella late, working at night to get money, and now, now I was typing my my whole essay on my phone on the light rail to school. And y'all could just copy paste AI the whole shit. Like nah, that's crazy. Cool for you, applause that you could do that. But come on, man. Come on. Oh, it's something that that uh, Will said about uh, Mr. Beast. Um, Mr. Beast does have like a hundred freaking um Yeah, but Mr. Channel. Beast is special. So let, let me let me let me just say what we'll say, bro. So he, so, you know what I'm saying? He said that in, in uh his different languages that he has, I think he has Spanish, Portuguese, and he has a couple of languages. He actually um hires voice actors for those videos. I know we're not talking about voice acting, we're talking about um, AI, but the reason that Mr. Beast does that from whatever what Will said was that he knows that's like certain like sayings that languages have 
that can be um, duplicated by AI, at least not to that point. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out Mr. Beast for uh, doing that. They're called um, idioms. Yeah, that, whatever. V- vocab words for the day. day. <laughs> look, at, look it up, kids. I'm about to look it up too because I know what the fuck that was. I- idiom. Idiots. I mean, idiot. What, 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 <laughs> what else we got for today, guys? What are we doing? Idiot. Idioms, iconic, and well, idioms, idiots, iconic. It all sounds the same. Speaking of iconic, um, so I was on Twitter today, <laughs> as per every day, and something came up along my timeline. And the question was, can we talk about the fact that the Akatsuki symbol is the most iconic logo in all of anime? He did that on purpose. Now, <laughs> two things to, to focus on here. You say that the fact that the, the Akatsuki symbol is the most iconic logo in all of anime, right? But technically speaking, <laughs> you just kind of like contradicted yourself, correct? Because the symbol what is not the be the, the symbol. What is the what is the what is the the Akatsuki logo of though? Like that was my biggest <laughs> issue. I'm sorry we're jumping right in because I know you were trying to introduce it, but what does that even mean? Because the Akatsuki logo is not Naruto. Like, it's from Naruto, but that's not the Naruto logo. The Naruto logo would be that little circle that he has on his stomach. Yes or no? The the Curseal. The Curseal. The curse um, Wouldn't that be well, his I would, logo? I would. I would. Uh, so, again. I always thought it was like the, the Leaf Village. The, the, or leaf, that. The, the logo of Naruto is literally the text. Like, the text Naruto. in yeah, with the, like the purple, the orange, yeah, the orange text with the blue outline, like Pokemon, the name, Dragon Ball Z, yeah. the iconic. That's a logo. Those are logos. But when we're talking symbols, you know, that's what I'm saying. The person contradicts themselves. So technically, yeah. the real question it's, is, it's a symbol. It's not a logo. Yeah, it's we not established logo. that. No, yeah, that's. So I, they, I was just trying to establish that so we can say. F- oh, I can't even curse. We can say boo to that. I curse anyway. You just curse anyway. Like, <laughs> we just like, like, fuck you to that motherfucker. And yeah, let's uh let's let's have the real conversation. What's the most popular low uh no, symbol? Not popular, iconic. Iconic. What's the most iconic symbol in anime? Mm. And so I would say the Pokeball. Example, I would you you could make the argument it, it is the most it would be iconic. Um I, mm. I feel like the Dragon Ball might be, mm. personally. That or I even think the Dragon or Ball. even the Nimbus Cloud. The, I would say even, that's more. I would say that's more more iconic than the than the Akatsuki one. The, but. the logo on Goku's gi, the Turtle Hermit. So the, that, that was that was another one that people had said. The, to um, be the completely gi, honest, cool. to be completely honest, to be completely honest, actually Goku's regular hair. And I wouldn't consider that a symbol, though. And the, and I'm going to tell you why I consider it a symbol. It's an iconic there's, silhouette. There's, exactly. But that silhouette becomes a symbol when you put it on shirts. So then by that shirts. by that logic, could I say that the Sharingan would be, be iconic? That could be. Yes. That could be. That could be. Yeah, could they the use millennium, that? The Millennium Puzzle. Stuff. What the fuck is that? I mean that's the, more the, like um, an item. Y- y- Yugi, so Yu-Gi-Oh, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, the, the little, the little the chain Yu-Gi-Oh, thing, the upside down pyramid. Absolutely. I didn't know the name of well, Yu Gi Oh card, the, the back of Yu Gi Oh card. True. I, to me, it's I, it's I think a lie. It's, it's a between. Lie. It has to be between. I would only say Pokeball because old, young, new, not new. If you see a Pokeball, most people like my uncle knows what a Pokeball is. Because yeah, I watched yeah. Pokemon, you feel me? He may not know what uh, the the cloud. He may just think it's just a regular, uh, a circular Nimbus cloud that's gonna rain. You know, he don't know what that shit is. Whereas a Pokeball, if he sees the Pokeball, he's gonna know. Oh, this Pokemon. Or you can even say Pikachu. True. Pikachu, the most but popular I, symbol. I, but I would, but I. Get- it's on his shirt right now. Yeah, but that's not wearing a Pokemon shirt. But I got Goku on my shirt, so. Yeah, but nobody yeah, know like, that, nigga. Ka! Uh, I, 
I'm oh, talking to blue. I'm talking about yeah, blue. I'm talking about blue. I'm talking about blue. What about, what about this nigga right here? But I would. I could. I can make the argument today. That nigga right behind John. The silhouette over there. Silhouette and the poster. Right. The whole of my thumb right. was to, yeah, yeah, to your one. yeah. <laughs> so the silhouette does count. Um, today Sasha was at work and somebody came up to her and said, "Oh, that's how I know you don't watch anime because you haven't unlocked your showering gun." And she texts me asking me. Somebody said that to me. What does that mean? And I said, basically, you're a slow reader. <laughs> that it, that's the only thing you could possibly be because it means that you cannot read fastly. You know how you always complain that I read the subtitles too fast? Is it because you haven't unlocked your your showering gun? You know. So that's, that's a disrespectful thing right there, bro. It, I know. She said he basically called me slow. I said I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I can't really be mad at him. It was slick. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. But I mean, he, yeah, he like, got you. What do you want me to do? He already got yeah. you. <laughs> He said, somebody got you. What you want me to do? Will said we should um, define symbol. So I'm going to define it real quick before you continue, Shawnee. Um, Mm -hmm. A symbol is a mark or character used as a conventional representation of an object, object, function, or process. Example, the letter or letters standing for the chemical element or character in a musical notation. That's true. So it's basically, basically we're, 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 just, we're describing in different mediums. You have the Sharingan, could the Sharingan is a symbol, the Dragon Ball symbol, the um the turtle shell school symbol on the ch- on the gi is a symbol. The Pokeball is technically a symbol. Pikachu, theoretically, it would be a symbol. I mean, I I feel like yes, a person or thing I mean, can a, be it's a it. character though. It's a so. character. It's like saying Mario's a symbol, you know, like yeah, versus like, a, like I, I I would put Pikachu his mustache more like would be character. the symbol. It says a mark or character. Yeah, but a character, as in like a, like an alpha alphabet kind of character, like a like yeah. a unit of text, like one of those mm-hmm. kinds of characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what. That's I mean. how you so use like a char- to, to define it. That's no, because it, because literally, the, remember context literally goes straight into letters and musical connotations. So it's talking about a character, like you yeah, know, like whatever. when you type a tweet, tells you like you have a hundred and. Oh, now you want to know left. what it says. Now you want to know what it says, right? <laughs> now you want to know what it says. <laughs> so we all, but I mean, it, you know, it, it, I, I basically I feel like we all agreed that it's either going to be Pokemon, Dragon Ball, or it's one yeah, of those. Say, I would say the I would say I would say the Akashi Cloud is. I don't really popular iconic. Now. No, but we're not saying popular. We're saying iconic. iconic. I think it is iconic, I, though, yeah. because you got to remember. You got to remember. No, but you got to remember. I'm not Listen, saying let me, it's. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not iconic. Okay. I'm saying it's not the most iconic. That's what I'm saying. I what will always it? put the Pokeball over anything because, again, like I said, new, old, young. If anybody sees a Pokeball, they're going to know that shit has to do with Pikachu and Pokemon. Yeah. See, and and while I agree with that, I also feel like we kind of, you know, I know we said we have to define iconic versus popular, but if we're talking about the times, the reason why the tweet happened, because I don't know how to pronounce the soccer player, um, Kylian Mbappe? Correct me, uh, Mackie. Kill- Killian Mbappe. Okay, so he would get, the picture was of him getting a haircut and the, John, you, protection, I don't want to say the word correct, the cape. The cape, yes. The cape was an Akatsuki cape. See, look at that. Both of you guys chimed in on this. It's perfect. Um, it was an Akatsuki cape. That was the original tweet that he was quoting. He made the cut topic. And, you know, iconic wise, yes, Pokeball is the most iconic when you see it. But if we're talking like iconic in the sense of if you have to put them on a list and which one is being more worn than anything or advertised, it's nine times out of ten is going to be the Akatsuki cloud. And I know it's ironic uh, because I'm just, wearing the I- wave cap. But I literally wanted an anime wave cap, and this was the first one that popped up. If they had one with Pokeballs going around, I would have gotten it. You know? <laughs> if they had it with the Dragon Ball. If they, I, I wanted one with a two-star Dragon Ball right on the center when I tie it down. And I have not been able to find that. But I'll find the fucking cloud. I got a fucking yeah. jersey. I get, I get what you're saying. I, I, get a, what you're saying. I get what you're saying, Shawnee. It's more wearable than anything else. 
Yeah, like it's, it, it's, 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 it's marketable and it's good for merchandise. Yeah, I would way, still yeah. say the Pokeball, bro. We all yeah. know somebody with Pokeball, so Pokemon, Pokeball, uh, um, pajamas. Yeah, we get we that. Know, we, we, but, but listen, I would listen, argue. Listen, I would argue. Rapper, that Naruto would still if you are that. a rapper, listen. If you are a rapper, I think you have a listen. If you are a rapper, you have a red and white Pokeball shirt. Niggas gonna be like, yo, you really got a Pokemon in your like? Come on, right? If you have the cloud, I, if they don't under know. listen, listen. If they don't understand, if they don't even yeah. understand what the cloud is, that red cloud looks cool. I think. I think. I think we respect. We will respect that's them. Like, if he has a Pokeball. On his shirt, we're gonna be like, "Oh, that's cool." I think that's using like a small sample. I only, I would only say that I think that's using a small sample size to compare it to like rap. Like, yeah, I'm rap is the most. Coolness. When I'm talking about coolness, the coolness of the. Hey, what he's saying is like it's not hard to have a. Po- it's it. not hard for a rapper to wear a poke ball, but if they come out with this, niggas gonna be like, "Oh, I fuck with that nigga." Put it like this, Mega like Stallion. Stallion. Every, all the anime fans are going crazy because of her of how intricated and she is into anime you've seen meg in the akatsi cloud but you have not seen her in a pokeball when was she in the akatsi cloud i've never look seen her do that i bet i'll look it up right now she she's done my hero she's done she's my hero she uh, she's, she's done uh, that she's done jjk yeah she's done jjk i never seen her in no, nothing like that never Yes, he has, my brother. Bang. Talk and to him. Sexy too. And it looks sexy, too. That's what I'm telling Talk you. It's the cool factor. Like, if she had a Pokeball on, like, uh, come on, man. Bro, where, 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 where do you see it? If you, look up, if you type drop. in Megan the Stallion in Google, the second, the second search the second search topic is Meg the Stallion is a Naruto fan. R. Dankrito. I didn't say that That's she was a, Reddit a fan Reddit. of Naruto. Bro, bro. Bro, you, but she's we, done... We never, we're She's not done more my hero it. than than Naruto. So you're missing the that. point. We're not arguing that. We're arguing the fact that if you have to put the Pokeball and the Akatsuki Cloud in comparison to Meg the Stallion promoting one of them, she has not promoted Pokemon, but she has promoted the Akatsuki Cloud. I still think we're using a small sample size. I, I don't know. Probably. I'm not gonna. Meg the... I'm. I'm not. You act like we're using the, the city of New Jersey, like the state of New Jersey. We're talking no, but about not a superstar, all, not the, the masters. She's not a superstar, but okay. <laughs> She's okay, a star. Because she was just not in Japan. Yeah, Recently, she, I mean, did you see that she did the collaboration with the Japanese pop group? Yeah, I know. She has a song on her album called Mushi Mushi or some shit like that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the name of the song, but it's some shit like that. I, I, so, I think that we can't decide, we so it might it might be better to just so let keep fighting. Keep let fighting. the viewers decide, and uh, let's give them a way to like vote on what they think is the most iconic anime symbol, whether it be <laughs> from Naruto or any other anime. Let us know like what you guys think is the definitive most iconic. It is the one anime piece symbol. straw hat, baby. Let's go. So that uh, was an argument, and people were shitting oh, on it goes, because goes it is not iconic. In, in current time, you can make the argument, but <laughs> iconic all around, no. Straw hat, straw hat, baby. Let's go right here. The straw hat. See it right there? Straw hat. Let's go. Hey, hey, and a baseball player has that as a chain. So we got another Jolly Roger right there. Bang. I'm just saying. Oh. And we got a double. Don't forget, people don't forget. Don't forget to like. Look at, no, mean, they're gonna do that at the end. They know, what, they know what happened. Man, you kill my shit, bro. Yo, but there's a whole thing that's coming on at the end, bro. There's I know. No I, was, I was that. literally about to stop myself and say that you kill my shit. Oh my god! All it's right. okay, Don't worry. <laughs> I know it's been a long time. We're back. It, it, it it's a long time since we've done a podcast episode, but here we are. We're back and just as chaotic as ever. Absolutely. Hope Catch you, you guys on the next one. <laughs> What's going on, nerdy fam? We want to thank you for watching our video today. We appreciate all the love and support and the views that we get. But if you want us to talk about a specific thing, let us know in the comments below. You can follow us on our YouTube at Nerdy by Nature TV. 
what else we got going on we got the spotify and apple podcast the nerdy by nature podcast if you know you don't have time to watch the videos you can listen to it on the go on your run working out x y and z you know how it goes and then you know we got our social handles we follow us on instagram twitter tiktok at nerdy by nature tv that's at nerdy by nature tv all in one word you know how it goes keep it nerdy we love you and goodbye